Hello YouTube, welcome to the Code Deputy channel. In today's video, I am going to show you the Paranoid. First, you're gonna need a mandrel. You're gonna need two paracord measuring about one and a half meters long, a lacing needle or a fit. This is called the Marlin Spike. This is to just like tighten everything up after you've completed the knot. So first what you need to do is um, wrap this around like that. You know, you can do this how many times as you like, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna do like two wrap arounds like this. Um, if you're doing a bracelet, I usually like wrap this around like 11 times. Okay, so after you wrap around twice on the mandrel like this, uh, you want to go wrap it around again twice to the bottom, like so, and then go up two more times, just like that. And then from here, you want to go under under the strand right here right and by doing so you're forming a bite here so under over and then under again right here and then over, and then under. And then over, which takes you right back where we started at the standing end. Okay, from here, you want to wrap around twice, going over, 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 like this, just like this. Just uh, one of the tricky thing is to keep this along the track, right? Okay, and then from here you form another bite, so it becomes a three bite. Uh, pang knot and all you have to do is go under two over one under two Over one, under two, and finally, over one, back to the standing end, like so. Okay, and now you can see we have going up an under one over two pattern right here going up under one over two under one over two under one and over two but going down you have an under two over one sequence over two uh, under two over one under two over one under two over one that goes all around this knot. Now it's time for the second color, which is gonna be uh, like a sandy cream color here. Okay. Now, I like to start from the left side of the standing end. 
some people like to do it on the right side of the stain, standing in, which is, you know, no problem. Okay. Just uh, like so. And then from here, you just follow the lead strand. Follow the lead strand going over to under one and then up over to under one and finally over two and under one right here Okay, make sure you got all that twists out of the way. Okay. Since we exit with an under, we go back with an over. We, uh, we exit using an under one. We go back using an over one. And then from here, under two. Splitting this pair right here, splitting this pair right here, okay? Okay, and then you combine this together, so going over two right here. So over the cream and over the OD green. <clears throat> And then here you go under two, again, splitting that OD green with the cream and combining that two together. So over two right here. And then again, you go under two to split that green with the cream. exit with an over two combining that cream and that OD green together okay right <clears throat> we exit with an over two we come back into the knot with an under one so if you exit with an under you re-enter using a an over uh, conversely if you exit with an over you go back in using an under okay now going up we go over two greens and one cream so over three right here over three and then under one right here and in doing so you're splitting this pair right here. You're splitting this pair right here, okay? Now, again, over two greens and over one cream, over three, over three right here, and then under one. Should be one more, right? So over three, over two green and one cream, over two, ever, oh, sorry, over three and then under one, right? Like so. Okay. Now you go back, since you exit with an under, you go back with an over. Over one to be exact, over one under three so under two green and one cream right there okay and then you combine this two together so we go over two over the cream and then over the green and then we go under the 
under two greens and one cream under three right here again over two combining these two strands together and then under three right here again over two now remember you exit with an over you re-enter using an under so under one right here under one under one over two greens and one cream right here oh sorry over two greens and two creams this time, All right? So over four, I'm gonna go over four here, and then under one. Again, over four, two greens and two creams, and then under one right here. Over four, two creams and two greens and then over one right here uh sorry under one right here right and i think this is the last right this is what you do over one under four so two creams and two greens Over one, under four, over two, under four, over two, under four, two creams and two OD greens, and then over two. And you're back where you started and by so doing you have completed the knot I'm gonna tighten everything down so you can see the pattern much more clearly Okay, now this is the parang knot. You can see like there's a almost like a lightning bolt pattern right here. Right here. As well as the OD green. You got that lightning bolt pa uh, pattern. Uh, it does, uh, a friend told me this resembles uh, batik motif called parang hence the name the parang knot so this is how you do it and that's it thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye bye